Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you, I cannot believe that out of all the movies that we have heard about doing either bad or being canceled or having reshoots or being delayed or whatever the case may be, I don't know why Marvel's new Blade that's coming out has yet to be canceled. This movie has absolutely zero direction. Seriously, it has zero direction. Every time somebody talks about this movie, it is always negatively. There's always something wrong with the script. The script has been rewritten about five or six times now the actor is completely miserable the entire set in production has been delayed multiple times why is this movie even still coming out why do you have to have a rebooted blade disney marvel will never do blade justice it's just impossible for them and we are clearly seeing the fruits of their labor since now apparently we have even more problems so we have an article here from bounding that says troubled blade script reportedly morphed into a narrative that is led by women and filled with life lessons another new writer has been hired now this is not the first time we have heard a rumor regarding blade script being very very feminist oriented we've heard a rumor prior that it was going to be a script about him passing down his legacy to his daughter or something along those lines and now apparently it's being morphed into another female-led thing and we're going to get into it so let's get into the article guys from bounding into comics but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm. It says the Trouble Blade film starring Mr. Ali from Marvel Studios reportedly morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons. Not only did one script turn into this, but Ali reportedly was ready to leave the project entirely due to script issues. This recent report comes from Variety's Tatiana Siegel, who claimed one person familiar with the script. Permutation says the story at one point morphed into a narrative that was led by women and filled with life lessons. She added Blade was relegated to the fourth lead, a bizarre idea considering that the studio had two-time oscar winner ali on board now i i don't i don't get it man i don't get it why why would you want to make literally blade the fourth lead in blade's own movie why would you want to do that and, and the funny thing is i believe this i believe this a hundred percent why do i believe this well quite simply we have seen many examples from disney not just marvel but disney as a whole and marvel's owned by disney so it's all going to be you know all together in one lump sum we've seen disney and marvel do this to their male leads they will use their male leads as a name for the movie itself right they'll put them on the poster they'll make sure everybody thinks it's gonna be a blade movie and the moment people show up to see the blade movie they're suddenly seeing blade's daughter's movie that's how this works they always do the bait and switch and we're gonna see another example of that if they would have their way with this particular script now ali has complained a ton of times about the script we've seen multiple different examples of ali complaining about the script so clearly something must be going on that he doesn't like and it's very apparent what that is at this point it says later in her report sequel detailed that ali was ready to exit over script issues the blade movie was initially announced by kevin feige back in 2019 when he brought ali onto the hall h stage at san diego comic-con feige said i want to leave you today with one more thing that i don't think has been rumored about ladies and gentlemen two-time academy award winner maharshala ali after ali walked onto the stage he put on a hat that read blade Speaking with Variety, Feige would explain why Ali was perfect for Blade. He's the perfect Blade because he's one of the greatest actors working today and because he's a huge fan of our universe and a fan of that character and he's going to destroy the part. He added, it's a dream. It's kind of a dream casting that you almost don't dare to dream that you can actually do it. But we had a couple of meetings with him and sort of very quickly decided, let's do this. Well, see, again, here's the problem. You, you decided so quickly to do this, but you didn't quite have an idea of what you were going to do. They always tend to announce TV shows and movies before they have any general idea of what they're going to do with it we see so many delays because of script problems we see so many delays because of reshoots you guys clearly don't know what the hell you're doing you're kind of winging it at this point and it's because you're hiring such terrible writers that can be replaced by ai and this is the whole reason why they had the strike in the first place they know they're garbage they want their jobs protected because they know they can't protect their own jobs based on their performance so they need something else to do it for them but again it's so sad that mr ali unfortunately is going to be uh kind of like cucked in his own movie which again wouldn't surprise me considering what they did with daredevil and she hulk ali would later appear on the tightrope youtube show and shared why he was attracted to blade i love that it's darker that is all terms of the tone he's a little bit darker than some of the other ones and so that element was attractive to me ironically ali would also state on the podcast all money ain't good money so you can't take money and opportunity today that will bleed you dry later on because you've been branded with something that is not sustainable for me my choices have to be able to sustain what i hope to be many more decades career god willing so i try to choose 
wisely, that's all. And sometimes I don't get it right, but I do the best that I can. See, now that's a real actor right there. That's someone who is doing this professionally because he is taking seriously his lineage. He doesn't want to be tied to terrible roles. And unfortunately, yeah, sometimes you roll the dice and it doesn't quite work out that way. But if you have an entire lineage of failed roles, yeah, your career is probably not going to last that long. So I can appreciate that he is trying to take this seriously and take the role seriously. But unfortunately for him, that's just not going to work if the writers aren't taking it seriously. If Marvel is not taking it seriously, they're going to fill Blade with a whole bunch of terrible jokes that is literally rampant in Marvel movies. Like it makes it terrible. There is no stakes in Marvel movies anymore. Everything feels like it could just come back and it has come back, right? Like the only characters we haven't seen come back are literally just like two or three of them, really. That um, obviously you have uh, Robert Downey Jr. with Iron Man and you have Black Widow as well. You've seen these characters die off permanently, but you know, who knows? At some point, they're probably going to bring them back back too because they're too tired of failing nonstop. It says rumors and reports will begin to surface about how troubled the production was and how unhappy Ali was with the script back in September of 2022. Scooper Jeff Snyder shared on Twitter, I'm told that the current Blade script is roughly 90 pages and features exactly two lackluster action sequences. He added, Mahershala said to be very frustrated with the process, Feige said to be spread too thin, but hey, that's just what the sources are telling me. Don't shoot the messenger. And like I said earlier in the video, guys, this movie has has been littered, literally littered with nonstop issues. The likes of which I honestly I haven't seen any other movie from Marvel have this many issues. They all have their problems, right? Every single one of them has reshoots, delays, and all that. But this particular movie has been going on for years, years. This problem has been going on for many years now, and it seems like there's no end. Like it doesn't matter what's happening. Like when is Blade coming out? At this point, just cancel the movie. Nobody's gonna miss the movie if you cancel it. I would be really sad to not be able to see Ali. Lee take his shot at Blade, but you know what? It is what it is, man. Like, unfortunately, even if he wanted to do a fantastic role, at the end of the day, he is 100% limited by the people that he's working with. Disney Marvel cannot do a Blade properly anymore. They just don't have the ability to do so. They don't have the creativity to do so, and they damn sure don't have the balls to do so. Look at this. They want to put a woman into the lead of Blade. They want to they want to cuck Blade in his own movie. If these rumors are to be true, and they usually are, it goes to show where Disney is trying to be right now and what they're trying to do with blade and it's not what you would expect so if you're going into a blade movie expecting to see blade being the top character you probably will be sorely disappointed sorely disappointed and you know what you you should kind of know this is coming because if you know anything about modern day marvel and disney this is basically their playbook and it should not shock anybody at this point so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one Hypnotic out.